Ah, the age-old questions. For generations we've asked, what is true happiness? Where is the line between insanity and creativity? How does banding work? But no question stirs the commander crowd more than today's topic. Besides, perhaps, the question of, uh, should I pay the one? Today I'm going to talk about should we change how Infect or Poison works in Commander, all privy to the, to the current conversations going on because, well, Infect came back with All Will Be One, but in the form of Toxic, a much better design in my opinion. Now, there are two types of people who want to talk about changing how Poison counters work in Commander, crybabies who don't want to learn or adapt, and content creators who run out of things to talk about. So in this week's video, I, a content creator, will talk about Infect in Commander. But first, remember, if you're looking to buy Triumph for the or taking strikes to piss your friends off, use the link in the description below to get singles and silk product from CoolStuffInc.com and get 5% off your order and help support the show. And don't forget, I'm also streaming an AMA session on Whatnot every month now. The first one's on the 23rd of February. So follow me over there and use the link below to get £10 credit on your first purchase. Whatnot is a live streaming service for people to connect with sellers and buy collectibles, trading cards, box breaks, and stuff like that in auctions. Live auctions. I'm going to have a few items for my personal collection up for sales and fun stuff. So why don't you click the link down below, follow me over over there, get £10 on your first order, and uh, I'll see you on the 23rd in the chat. In fact, has been a constant discussion alongside the existence of EDH in popular consciousness since the inception of the format, and it's a discussion that has been rampant about how it feels unfair in Commander. In a normal game of Magic the Gathering, you have 20 life. If you reach zero, you are dead. But in fact, says if you reach 10 poison counters, you die instead, which means you're taking essentially let half the hits. It's more dangerous, but it's supposedly a bit more difficult to pull off because less creatures have it and you have to spend resources on getting infect and getting in there with infect creatures. The only reason this becomes unfair as a mechanic is when we talk specifically about infect, because both poison, the original poison counter mechanic, and toxic from all will be one, set a certain number of uh, counters onto the opponent upon hit, whilst infect allows people to use things that would one-shot people out of nowhere with pump spells and big fatties. I don't believe there's anything inherently unfair about 10 poison counters killing you in a format where you start on 40 life. Yes, you start on double the life as a normal game of Magic the Gathering, but I think for a start the life totals in Commander are a little bit too high anyway, like a comfort blanket for, for people who want to fuck about and, <laughs> and not actually build a board set that can interact with your opponent. There are certain players in EDH that always remind me of those friends who want to play Age of Empires or Warcraft 3 or Command and Conqueror on land but never want to actually do battle. They'll look at to play a fantasy or science fiction city builder, not a real-time strategy game. Don't attack me, don't attack me, not until the 14 minute mark, they say. And you get that a bit in Magic and in Commander too. So yeah, 40 life is too fucking high. But on that note, let's talk about alternative win cons for a second. Infect does not say win the game. It in fact says a player would lose the game. This is a huge and important part of the conversation that people often miss. Dual to nothingness, as an example, also says target player loses the game. But I never see people begging for that to cost 20 mana, or need it to sacrifice itself twice, or even complain about it at all. In fact, outside of a few outliers that I'm going to like, list out in a moment, it's quite difficult to pull off. In other formats like Legacy and Modern, you have to use a multitude of spells to pump one creature big enough and get it through as unblockable and not blocked to kill an opponent. This means you have to use a lot of resources to kill somebody, a lot of resources to kill one person, which will, you know, make you a threat to other people at the table and also often put you behind. Because in Commander, it's beneficial to put your resources into killing the whole table at once, you're not left fighting a, a war of attrition with uh, one or two players after you've spunked your load killing the third. However, there are some problem cards that I want to talk about in regards to this point. There are three that I want to talk about. One, quite underpowered, and two, very powerful. The first is Corrupted Conscience. I can't I don't think enough people actually play. It's control magic that costs one more mana, same cost as a mind control, for the upside of giving that creature infect. Whilst a relatively expensive control magic effect might not be everyone's cup of tea in Commander these days, uh, in a world of hyper-efficiency and creators telling you that two mana rocks are bad and all that. But this thing steals a problem creature in a pinch. So it's one mode is just steal control for five mana, like a mind control effect. But really, its main effect is in blue, the card doesn't have access to this usually, but in blue, it's to say my big thing kills you now in combat for five whole mana. It's certainly a lower power level card, but one that puts the whole it takes a lot more resources argument to bed when you land it on, say, a big Lord of Extinction or similar fatty. But I do get that it's uh, a lower power level card. Beyond that, though, we have the real menace, which is Tainted Strike. It does the whole now my thing kills you out of nowhere. It does what Conscience does, but at instant speed, for four less mana and in black. For those of you who don't know, you can do this after blocks. So you swing with a fatty, your opponent declares no blocks, you cast Tainted Strike, and they just die if it's 10 damage 
or more. Tainted Strike really is the best card to use if you want to lose friends and alienate people. It's an easy kill on a fatty or a beta, and I often wonder if when people complain about Infect, they're really just complaining about this and trying for the horde that I'm about to speak about next. Ultimately, I think this card is fine. A one mana combo piece that combos with a nine power creature that's not blocked. Yeah, sure, it's powerful, but I would, if I'm honest, I'd rather consider banning this than changing the Infect rule. And to be clear, I'm not advocating for the banning of this or the change of the Infect rule. I'm saying I don't want either of those things, but I think we should look at the two cards that create problematic or unfun environments for more casual players before we look at changing the infect rule if i'm honest and then we have of course triumph of the hordes oh boy this is the card that really draws a lot of hate if tainted strike is the oops i win button after blocks this is the oops i win when people just aren't packing enough toughness on board this is essentially the Infect variant of Overrun. There are a lot of cards like this in Magic. They're normally uncommon. They're normally a the linchpin of draft formats that you want to really want to pick up and kill people with. It's a 4, 5, or 6 mana spell that gives all your bodies some form of invasion and some pump that will kill them. It's a wombo combo with a reasonably wide board. And in this case, it gives Trample, plus 1, plus 1, and Infect. Again, I think looking at this card as an unhealthy inclusion is much more valid than asking to change Infect overall, when Infect itself, or Poison itself, isn't the problem. It's more Infect and these cards that enable them. Again, I'm not saying we need to get rid of this stuff. I think a 4-mana Sorcery win condition when your board is wide and your opponent's board isn't wide is perfectly fine. Games of Commander do need to end after all. And whether it's a natural order for Hoof, or this, or something similar, Fine, whatever, let's shuffle up and go again. Of the three examples I just mentioned, I think that Tainted Strike is the biggest feels bad. It happens after blocks, can be very, very sneaky, to the point of feeling borderline unsporting if someone's been very quiet about their, what they're up to, especially in a casual pod. And most importantly, it often just kills one person. The game is not over, one person has to sit out, and then they feel like they've been got by some sort of cheap trick, which they kind of have, but cheap tricks are fun. They're kind of part of what makes magic exciting. It's like there is a, it's a game of hidden information, and sometimes you have the thing that gets your opponent good. I like that in magic. But if we're going to talk about Infect being a problem, I think it's more to about those two cards than it is about Poison as a as a total being higher or any of that shit. And lastly, I just want to talk about Toxic and All Will Be One for a moment. It shows that Poison can be slower. It can be more methodic, more nickel and dime style of win condition. I think it's actually beautifully crafted in terms of a game mechanic because you, you put a couple of pips on by making contact or being the aggro deck in the limited and, and constructed formats like standard. But you can put a few pips on and there's decks that are aiming to proliferate that. You've been infected and over the course course of a slow methodical game plan they're going to finish you off with the poison i think that's a really beautiful way to evolve the mechanic i think it really fixes some of the issues we had with in fact the issues that we still see today when commander players get frustrated with things like trying for the horde tainted strike, striking to a lesser extent corrupted conscience poison counters from the old school poison mechanic are toxic on the issue i think just a few people are upset about a couple of in fact cards so to summarize poison just doesn't need to change alternative ways to finish games are good actually in my humble opinion i do think people need to consider the table they are playing at though and how team striking with a large sliver isn't any more or less obnoxious than other infinite combos and wombo combos personally i feel that an insurrection killing the board is just exactly the same as a uh, a slightly cheaper triumph for the horde except you can do it out of nowhere with other people's boards wombo combo cards exist and that's fine it's just part of the multiplayer commando experience but now i'm going to do what i probably shouldn't and hand it over to you i want to know in the comment section below if you agree with me are you a staunchly it's fine sort of kind of person do you think that perhaps the rather lackluster sort of ban list of commander needs an example of what you shouldn't do by banning tainted strike or are you one of these actual reformists who wants the poison counter rule changed do you have a rational argument you can tell me in the comment section below that might win me round let me know down below besides that don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that link and sign up to uh, whatnot and follow me over there and i'll see you all in the next one ta-ta for now